Uh oh. We have to do Uh-oh. something with wind now. No, I, I don't no, know that's, no, he's warning us that we're, we're participating in dead air. No, I'm not. No, no, no. no, uh, no. no. no? Oh, no. This is the thing. only sound effect I can do with my mouth. That's right, that's true. We was over the hump on our way from Rangook across Burma. We just had a close shave and was limping along at 12,000 feet, whistling and leaking oil from our one good engine. The toilet was hopelessly clogged and both our parachutes were still at the cleaners. What's that, I said, pointing to a clearing ahead. My co-pilot, God, replied, that's the Burma oil fields. Well, hell's bells, I said. Don't don't the Japs get their fuel from there? Sure do. Sure, said God. Everybody knows that. Well, then I said, let's drop our load on them. Turn around and hightail it to the border before we have to ditch. Colonel, you fool, sir, he said. We can't do that. Those are shell oil fields run by the British, and they're our allies. Well, then what the tarnation are they doing giving fuel to the enemy? I said, well, sir, God got that funny kind of half smile on his face. I remember that. Oh, yeah, I've seen him do that. You see, Colonel, he said, they need the money Mm -hmm. to help fight the war. (laughs) It's gone for you. (laughs) We had a good laugh over that one. (laughs) Dropped our bombs on a field of sacred cows (laughs) near Fiji and belly flopped. In the ocean. Well, God was killed. Oh. But, of course, I survived and floated to shore using his body as ballast. Oh. God, oh, what that, a story. That's, the, that's wonderful. That's truly postmodern. I mean, Can I read my poem about Donald, uh, Donald go. Trump? Go, you go, mean, go. mean, mean Donald Don, 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 I mean, Don, T. Rump? It, it, would be, it would be meaningful and yet stupid at the same time. I'd be that's, happy to. That's you right know, up my that's, alley. That's, I thought it was right. where we you, are. Okay. You, you, you're okay. talking about Donald Comover. Well, right? I, yeah. you know, I, 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 my, my opinion of all these guys is they're garden gnomes, okay? Garden okay. gnomes. Yeah, so this is Donald Gnome the first. You okay. can see him with think. Okay. Of all the garden gnomes we've got, Donald Trump's the lot. You don't have your sound effects box with you. Thank I, God. I've got my head. Boy. Oh, okay. man. Okay, keep going. His pointy hat, he's combed straight back to point up his steely brow. His taste in gold is bold as brass, so gnome of the moment. He's a moment again, right? He's a, back again? It's a metaphor, isn't it? There the brass you go. and the gold. I got Take it. your bow. Take it. There you go. When more cement mm-hmm. gets dumped inside the Donald mold, Donald claims the gnomes are pumped to buy, sell, and be sold. Yeah. They're fired what? on... With Vegas schemes. I like this rhyme stuff. This is good. Good good writers. There's good good writing here. Buddhists. They're fired. No, no Buddhists. Jewish writers? Mm. Or just just Goyesh and Ah. No, it's Goyesh and Ah. They're fired Don, with Vegas schemes, Viagra dreams that make their rowboats grow long and sleek to muscle yachts with lots of busty blondes below. We should that, be paid for doing come this. On, come on, don't no. you think? Yes. I'll, that's pay, get you. I'll pay you for that. Is it good? Okay. Yeah. I busty blonde. Busty blonde's below. Yeah, for of course. Alliteration gets them every time. All right. Yes. First you skim the stupid out. Gnomes will vote for a familiar face forever. Then gather round the birther gnomes. They'll believe a TV star. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Mm. Even without a birth certificate. Right. They'll, 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 they'll. Now pluck the greedy gamblers up. Some Mormon gnomes may hap. Then... <laughs> Oops. This is sounding like Chaucer. All Your of a ratings I done. I had to read that. They're okay. falling. No, okay. the They're falling. The ratings are falling. Crap. But he's back, which is the only reason I'm reading this. Well, his hair is back. Yeah, well, sure. his hair is... He is back. He is back. He's, he's having... But read he's it on. His thing. Well, let's okay. not break Let me phone. finish. We'll it is like a few more verses. You know, what can I tell you? A few more verses. Off those gnomes have gone to look at someone new. Because in our house of garden gnomes, they'll find more faithful solid plaster gnomes, red, white, and blue. Good rhyme. New and blue? New and blue. <laughs> Normally, good. you're a lot more good. That good. good is a good rhyme. Well, good for, and wood. I mean, you're big into Boy, feminine rhyming. Is that the end? Because I'm idiosyncr- running out of No, I'm not. Okay. Yes, yet. you are. You're an idiosyncratic, no. see, there's, feminine rhymist. You know, you, this is good. This okay. is good. I like this. This is good. Okay, well, let's finish it then. Is somebody else in this room whistling? Or is it yeah, no, just me. I'm just whistling. Well, you're on echo. Yeah, I know, but I, well, that's because depressing. I'm whistling in my head. It's depressing. Go, go. 
And now the pointy-hatted garden guys are governors of garden gnomish states and sit on plushy senate seats freshly painted party ready with their mates those cutesy garden gals painted plaster to the core on lawns from gnome alaska to the plains of oklahoma this is turning me on man well i'm glad yeah they're I mean, frankly more seductive <sighs> pete much more than you, Don. So thanks a lot for April Fools. Now back to the B-list gnomes you like to push around. You know, a garden gnome on a penthouse lawn. Don't make the garden grow. Oh, of all... This is a chorus. Oh, this is a chorus. Of all the garden gnomes we've got, Donald Trump's the lot. Oh, okay. is that I, it? I've, I've had my moment. That's yeah. it. I'm done. I'm I got a Woody... I'm, I, I, like, I, I, I did, man. Okay. I got a Woody over I, that. I, I, he's, oh, no, I wouldn't have read that if if he wasn't back. That's true. He's he back. is back. Oh, okay. Wait, oh, let me do this. Sure. Wait, wait, wait. Go let ahead, me do, do this. It. Hello, hello, and hello, and again. I'm Billy Flamnigan, and the program is Art of the Insane. Now, today we're going to be discussing one of the most bedeviling problems facing the beginning painter who wishes to reap the big profits you can make in producing valuable art canvases at home in a half an hour or so. Canvases that have the real look and feel of the kind of collectible art of the insane that usually has clowns in it. Although I've pretty much made my reputation on not falling for the clown gambit because I see it as a cheap trick and one suitable only for aging actresses or lounge singers who need desperately to get on TV. Their paintings are not authentically insane, only cute or affecting. There's nothing necessarily insane about a crying clown Unless he's got a knife. Oh, that does it. Oh. Does it for me. Now, today we're going to look at this guy, Andy Warhol, who's more popular now that he's dead than he was when he was alive. And people hoped he would be dead, so the prices of his art would be driven up and up. Andy Warhol was not insane, but he was firmly mired in the dull and boring world of fine art. And while his instincts were as insane as the next man's, he never could realize the big profits he might have made if he'd turned to painting Jesuses on locomotives or clowns. Oh with knives. He would have been a billionaire. <laughs> he wasted his talent on detergent boxes and pictures of actors, things a truly insane artist would not look at twice. Never. Now, you wouldn't want to make that same mistake, now would you? Not once, not twice. <laughs> but Andy Warhol made fame into art, and you've got to be able to do exactly the same without jeopardizing your status as insane and pricing yourself so far below the market as to make the whole deal not worth your while. First, Let's try to make a painting ourselves. Let's take a fresh canvas. Now, I think I've told you already that you don't have to pee on your own canvases. No one will know or care if you hire it out. This canvas was peed on by a certain member of my family who will kill me if I let her secret out. She's a good woman, tall though she may be. Take a color from any tube. There we go. A lot of viewers still ask me what color is best to start with, but they must not be watching closely because what do I always say? It does Doesn't not matter. matter. <laughs> They're all pretty much the same. That's right. I'm going to do the eyes. Eyes are round, I think. Ooh. And remember to put in those dots, whatever they're called, eyeballs or something. You squirt a couple of tubes from way over here. Now, those smudges might be palm trees, they might be ducks, and that's the kind of insane ambiguity we want. Here's a wonderful color. I suppose it has a name. Who cares, really? And painting in the locomotive is a little harder. There you do. You pretty much have it. Something that will increase in value the more famous you get. So you start dyeing your hair and getting shot by one of your girlfriends, or better yet, paint on one of your girlfriends as she shoots you. Oh, that's then duplicate everything millions of times and before long you'll be the toast of Toast Island and just as unhappy as you can be. The subject of so much stultifying commentary that children of the future are preparing even now to be bored by you and your wacky antics. I'll see you again next week. No, you won't. Yes, yes we, I'm afraid, I'm afraid you will, chance. pal. We'll discuss the kind of fo collectible folk art made of bottles and slag oh, that you can turn you. into a drive-in chapel or grotto and sell postcards from and live like a prince in a small Airstream trailer, which will be attacked by trees in front of k -Boo. Are you being ironic? <laughs> yeah, exactly right. And, and this thing, is, it's, it's not bad. It's pretty quick, okay? I'll go, be fast. Go. Right. No, no. Moderate, slow. Okay. Take your if time. If I get too fast, will you, you know, we'll slow edit down? You. I'll throw something. We'll edit you. We'll fix music it in the mix. Out, music out. 
Uh, music out? Yeah, I guess music yeah, out. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go dry behind this, yeah. okay? Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. A is for Alaska, where wingnuts abound. B is for Bilderberg, deep underground. C is for coal, dirty fuel, dirty grave. D is the Dems with a Congress to save. E is the electorate, angry and scared. F is the fascist, well paid and prepared. G is the GMO food on the shelf. H is the harm it can do to yourself. T I is for Islam, but which one by God? Is J for their justice or endless jihad? Uh, K is for Karzai and his dope dealing bro. L is how long he will last when we go. M is Mahmud Ahmadinejad's fist. Got it, huh? huh? Mm, Which good. he shakes when he says that his nukes don't exist. O is for Obama. I'm so glad he's there. P is the people who think that he's Saladin's heir. There are people who think that he is indeed a Muslim devil. Q is Al-Qaeda, <laughs> Osama's vile thugs. R is for Rigi, which pays for their weapons and rugs. S is a stimulus, vision and plan. T is the Tea Party, duped to a man. Use unmanned drones flown from far, far away. V is the innocent victims they slay. W is the prick who put us in this hole. <laughs> X is the factor we'll never control. Why is the question, must our country begin this ground zero sum game which no one can win if we rise above gender, wealth, power, and age, put an end to this flag-waving, book-burning rage, and just tend the garden, play our parts, take our ease. We can rebuild the future from the A's to the Z's. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You wrote that, what, about two years ago or something? Yeah, about 40 years ago. Wow. Oh, uh, we got here. Oh. Uh, oh. 